Hello, King Fit Nation. This is Andrew, and uh, I am back with another fun fitness training video. This time, we're only using a medicine ball, and we're doing a, uh, a Tabata circuit training exercise routine. So, this poor medicine ball has seen better days. It's all taped up, but it's one of my favorites. It smells a little funky, but it's great. If you only have one, uh, one instrument, one uh, piece of equipment, a medicine ball, be it 10 pounds, 8 pounds, 12 pounds, we can definitely get a full workout uh, with it. And one great way to do that is with the Tabata uh, training. If you've never done Tabata, it is a kick butt training circuit, and uh, it'll definitely get that heart rate up, it'll get your metabolism spiked, and it'll work uh, your power your power off system as well as your cardio system. So before we get started with our Tabata workout, we are gonna start with a uh, warm up, okay? So uh, first of all, we're gonna do some squat chops. You've, you've seen me do these a lot, I love them. They are uh, you know, triple flexion for the ankle, knee, hip, as well as bringing our shoulders to a full range of motion. So using that medicine ball, let's go in between the legs. This medicine ball has kind of lost its uh, ball shape, so it makes it easy to Get between the legs as I do. Just 12 reps and six. Try to get those hips as low as those knees. There we go. Nice. I'm going to do jumping jacks. Bringing that ball up. Working those push muscles. Working those lateral or those frontal plane muscles. You can go over the shoulder if you want. And I'd say you probably want to do about 30 reps, at least jumping jacks, maybe a minute's worth. Nice. And back to our Heismans, bringing that knee up towards that spine, twisting the body. Letting your head follow the ball. Big twist. Nice and controlled as you go back. And 11 and 12. You'll find I, <laughs> I kind of need a counter. I usually do the counting for people. <laughs> and four, a little hard to count when you're doing the reps. Just a big twist in that spine. Let your head follow the ball. Get those shoulders over to follow the ball as well. But yeah, perfect. So there is a three exercise circuit. Kind of going without stopping in between those exercises. And then we have a nice 60 second, 90 second break. Whatever feels good for you. And during that break, let's do some active stretching. As you can see, I'm getting a good rotation in my shoulders. Getting those rotator cuffs working. Nice, bringing those elbows in, twisting the torso. Really making sure those, those uh, rotational muscles up and down the spine and neck are ready to go because our Tabata is gonna be, you know, we're gonna be incorporating a lot of those muscles up and down the spine. And this time I'm just bringing that hip up and then my hands, hands extending. Not this, that's more of just arms. Right, I want to really get those hips out so I can get these muscles up and down the, the hip, the shoulder, for those lats working. Those obliques are getting a nice stretch here. Making sure our hips are staying mobile. When those hips start to lose their mobility, that things get a little ugly. Really feeling in here as well as where things are connecting the hip area. Awesome. So this is the time you do a second, uh, a second uh, round or a second set of your warm ups just to make sure everything is warmed up. We're just going to go right into the, the next part of the, the workout, which is the Tabata Core Circuit. So next up, Tabata Core Circuit. Okay, so we just had our warm up with three exercises using dynamic movements. We work the hips, the rotational muscles up and down the spine, the neck. Our shoulders got a good range of motion, uh, so we're feeling pretty good. Now we're gonna jump into our core Tabata circuit, really working that core with four pretty intense exercises. So if you don't know much about the, the Tabata circuit, uh, the Tabata uh, training approach, it's pretty, it's, to simplify it, it's 20 seconds doing an exercise, it's quite intense, and then 10 seconds off. And really during that 10 seconds, you're pretty much setting up for that ne next exercise. And you're doing eight 
exercises in theory. What I like to do when I'm doing a Tabata circuit is I like to do four exercises twice, all right? So the exercise, excuse me, the circuit takes about uh, four minutes and you're doing uh, two exercise or four exercises twice. And the reason I like to double up on the exercises is to test if my second set is as good as my first set. So there's a little bit of an intrinsic motivator there. Uh, I'm trying to, trying to keep good form and get just as many, if not more, of the, of the uh, sets, or sorry, the reps, that second set, all right? So we're gonna be doing a uh, Tabata circuit for our core, which is gonna be 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, two sets of uh, eight exercise, I'm sorry, yeah, uh, two sets of four exercises altogether. Now, if you don't have a fancy timer, that's totally fine. Uh, there are Tabata apps that just kind of make that timer for you, so feel free to use that. If you don't want to add any more uh, data to your uh, phone plan or want to add any more memory um, or take away memory from your phone plan, feel free to use a, an online uh, video. I like to go to YouTube. There's, uh, there's one I use, which I'm going to turn on right now. For our first exercise, we are going to be doing a mountain climber. All right? Your hands are under your shoulders, nice and tall in that shoulder complex. All right? Hiding a little bit behind that blue mat there. But really getting those, those knees up. Don't sink into that shoulder. We got about five seconds left. And three, two, and one. All right. Now you got a little breather. Get ready for your next exercise. Our next exercise is going to be a crab bridge. All right. So I'm going to have my hands. There we go. We're starting. My fingers, I like to point towards my heels. If that's a little hard for you, you can bring your your hands out a little bit, whatever's comfortable. Halfway there, really pushing off those heels, squeezing those glutes. There we go. Keep it going. Nice, now we got 10 seconds. We just worked those hips, those glutes. Now we're gonna go to a leg drop. I'm gonna put my hands right under my butt, keeping my back flat against the, the floor there. Dropping those legs. Nice and easy. You don't want to take a big break. You can hang out here all day. You don't want to do that. Keep pressuring yourself. There are only 20 seconds. So you can really make those muscles work. Three, two, and one. Nice job. Last one, we're going to be doing a side plank. I'll show you um, level one to start with. My elbow is going to be bent under my shoulder. My knees are bent. I'm right here. And I'm just going to be oblique, crunching, like so. All right, staying tall in that shoulder complex. The second set, I'll do the other side. Keeping that, you, know, you want to make sure your body's nice and straight, like you're in between two planes of glass. Oh, there we go. And three, two, and one. Nice job. Now we're starting with that first exercise. The first exercise, a mountain climber. All right. I'm going to show you a little, uh, a little change to that. We're going to be doing a transverse movement here. So now I'm bringing my knee towards that opposite elbow. And we're just getting a little bit more of those rotational muscles working versus the traditional mountain climber. Stay nice and tall in the shoulder complex, belly button drawn in, and we've got about three, two, one. Nice. And next up, we're going back to our bridges. If these bridges here are a little hard on your shoulder, getting up there, that's fine. Just do a normal bridge here, bringing the hips up. That's gonna be a little bit easier. This is gonna be a little bit harder, so if you wanna alternate, you can just do the left side uh, the first time, the first set, and then the right side the second set. I wouldn't change it in the middle like I just did. I just wanted to kind of balance them out a little bit. <laughs> there we go. And next up, we're going to be doing our um, leg drops. So with a leg drop, if I wanted to, I can add a little weight between like a medicine ball or something. Um, not going to do that right now. This one's a little heavy for me. <laughs> Dropping those legs. <laughs> If you want, and then a little movement there. Really work those abs. Just make sure the legs are going straight up and you're not swooping back. So straight up versus some people like to do this. That's not the exercise. Lastly, we're going to be doing our side plank. Before I showed you elbow bent, knee bent this time to make it a little more challenging, I'm going to get those legs straight, all right, and still working those obliques. This is like a level two. Oof. Really feeling those obliques firing. Nice and tall in that shoulder complex. Down and up. 
almost done. Wow. Great. And that is our, our core Tabata circuit. What I like to do is a warm up first, the core Tabata circuit. Then we're going to do our more total body circuit. It's a little bit more intense. And then after that, we need kind of a big break to get our, to get our, uh, you know, our energy system back. So what I'll do after that big total body uh, circuit is I'll go back and do another set of the core circuit. So it's warm up, core circuit, total body circuit, core circuit, total body circuit. And that gets you about a half an hour of, uh, or about 25, 30 minutes of, uh, of intense workout. You'll be feeling it. Okay, next up we're gonna go to our total body circuit. Stay tuned. All right, next up we are gonna be doing our total body Tabata circuit. All right, as I mentioned, we're just using one piece of equipment for this circuit here, and that is a medicine ball. Since we're doing some power exercises, you preferably kind of stay between eight to 12% of your body weight, all right? So I'm 165, the most I'd probably want is like uh, 16 pounds really. This one's 12, that feels good for me. And it's okay to have a lighter uh, weight like that because when we produce that force and that, uh, that torque and that power, you really get a good workout and you don't have to go very heavy, all right? So don't feel like you have to have a 30 pound medicine ball to do these. Actually, that'd be pretty challenging. Um, all right, so let me get my timer started and I'll walk you through it as we're going. Here we go, total body Tabata circuit. We're starting with a squat jump. I reach up to the sky, bring it back down, landing in that squat, uh, right back up. Uh, it's get hard to talk and do these after a while. Almost there, so I have a nice deep squat, bring it down by your chest, right back up. And make sure your squats are good before you start doing that, uh, all right? You need a good squat. If your knees are going in or out, not following your toe line, that could be a problem. Next up, we're gonna take this ball and slam it against the floor, all right? Now this, I wanna work my lats. So I'm not, I'm not bending my body forward. If you live in an apartment, maybe don't do this one. Oh, my hands go all the way through, so I'm really working my lats. 100% effort, oh my gosh. Whew, it's a good workout when you're not breathing. Okay, next up. We're gonna use a wall or a bag here, and we're gonna do a scoop toss. So, so I'm letting the ball go right before it makes contact. I bring it this way, across my body. My hands are secondary. This, this ball's not perfectly uh, circular, so it wants to bounce back in an interesting way, making a reaction challenge. Nice. Whew. We got one more. We'll be alternating on that one the next time. Next up, ice skaters, okay? If you wanna do ice skaters without the ball, that's fine. I like to add a little figure eight scoop. So we're hitting those leg muscles again. If you notice, we want lower body, upper body, lower body, upper body. Trying to really push over. 10 seconds, we get to do all these again. Oh my gosh. Last one, the second set, you try to beat your original numbers. Here we go. Again, check your squat. If your squat's a little funky, your knees hurt, this probably isn't an exercise for you. Oh, that's getting me. Over to the lat slam. Again, we're not letting our body uh, flex forward here. All just in the arms. Slam it. 100%. And don't cheat by taking a long time to pick it up. I'm not doing this, right? Quick. Make sure your arms go all the way through. Oh my gosh. And we're switching out sides. I would turn around, but I'm gonna to try to use this one here. So you can see my face. Scoop it over this. This. So I bring my, my far foot behind me. This. 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 So I can get a little more scoop action. And if it falls, that happens. This. 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 All right, seven seconds. 
We gotta do those ice skaters. I'll show you the ice skaters without the medicine ball if you like. You don't have to use a medicine ball. And you go here is to get as far lateral as possible. Oof. 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 Stopping at a dime. Decelerating, accelerating. Decelerating, accelerating. Try to keep your knees in the same pattern as your, your toes. So I don't want my knee in like this. My toes are going this way. My knee's going that way. Same with my squat. I want my, my knees and my toes to go in the same direction. If I start to do this, that can be a little hard on my knees. Or this might be hard on my knees. Okay? So know your body. And when you're ready to do some Tabata, that's a great little circuit with just one, uh, one medicine ball. So as I mentioned before, we do a warm-up, a core circuit, a total body circuit, and then I'll go back to my uh, core circuit, let my heart rate get back down a little bit. The, the core circuit's a little easier, cardio, a little easier cardio, cardiovascularly, and then we'll go back to the total body. Nice job, guys. Leave any comments in the, in the comment section below, and uh, reach out if you have any questions. We'll see you next time.